crazy. I dream of trying to play with Gazing on days and contagious show my baby. Check it out. All right, y'all, here we go. It just sounds like he working his fingers on that guitar. Yeah, ain't that the truth? Well, whoever it is. Time slips by like a grain of sand. That means it go by real fast. It be right in your hands and, <laughs> and it just, just slip right by. Right, just like that. So fast and so quick. Yeah. Even like lyrically, what he's talking about, I'm just liking how he like really, really piecing together like the lyrics too mm -hmm. to really kind of make you understand it when he's talking about like a moon child and just everything, just the way how he's just incorporating his lyrics and how it's kind of just like kind of free flowing. Yeah. I'm, I'm really enjoying that because we did Rory Gallagher maybe once or twice. Yeah, I feel I was going to say, I feel like we haven't done like a lot of his music before. <clears throat> like, mm -mm. I know we've done, we've heard some songs from Rory before, but not, not a lot though. Mm -hmm. Where is he from? I think the UK. Okay. Yeah, this guitar is crazy right now. Black Queens of Sand.
And it and it almost has like that like the blues rock feel to it too as well. As you listen to it, it's like it's like blues rock, you know. And for him to be like from the UK or yeah. overseas, so I, I don't know if he's from the UK, but he's from overseas. For 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 the music to sound the way that it sounds like this, like so bluesy, kind of kind of just throws me off. Kind of blows me away because I want to know. I, I almost want to know more about him to like to figure out exactly like who his like music inspirations are, especially like when we did Philby. That's a good question. Yeah, yeah. Not only that too, but it's something about like even with him, like how he's playing this guitar. Like I feel like in the last time we heard him too, that he kind of was doing that with the guitar as well, like just in the music as well, just mm. in terms of the rock element. But I don't know. I don't. I don't really get like bluesy. I do. I, I do. I for sure dun, feel dun, it. Dun, 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 dun. No, I feel like more like rock and like I really just want to say straight rock and roll. Gotcha. Okay. You know. Mm-hmm. That's just at least at least from just what I what I was hearing. What I didn't understand though was like the moon child part of it. Like, but what was he referring to as the moon child? You my what moon is, goddess. Like when I look into the moon and I see the glow of the moon. Like I see you. Like are you're you, you're in a, an illumination of the moon. Okay. You illuminate in the moonlight. There you go. <laughs> Wait. I'm illuminating the moon. You're a moon child. It's like it's, it's like I don't know. Maybe he's saying you look you, you look more beautiful at nighttime. <laughs> Cause I was trying to get the the, the moon part. I'm like okay, cause he kept saying you you are the moon child. Like you're the moon child. But then he started talking about it was almost like he was talking about the beauty and some being the moon. I didn't get the moon child. Y'all. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. No. Maybe maybe he was saying you look better in the moonlight than in the sunlight. No, but it, but but it's just something about like like when he say you 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 like my moonlight goddess. It's just something about the ambiance and the feeling of nighttime versus like the sunlight during the daytime. Yeah, I feel like it was some in some type of reference to like the moon, <clears throat> the light from the moon, or like in a, it, like in a nice way though. Mm-hmm. Like it was it was a yeah. compliment of of saying that. But I just okay, I'll stop right there. I digress. <laughs> 